Um, my door has always been open in Washington, D.C., and many of you have made the trip back. Uh, Casey comes very regularly so that we can meet there um, uh, while you're in Washington, uh, going to the various departments that you have to visit. But our, my door is always open, and we have discussed a range of issues always. But I'm very mindful of the impression that I, that I received from you all, how narrow is your uh, margin of profit to make this industry work. The cost of moving products and all of the uh, competition that comes now a lot, so much from offshore. And one of the things uh, that Casey alluded to is that I was very, very impressed with the idea that the association came up with to coordinate the distribution in a central location, uh, statewide. But so many of your sustainable practices uh, fit right in with the incentives, hopefully that will become law that will give you even more of an incentive to work in this area of, of um, all of the green things that you do. The idea of having a, a centralized distribution place, a center, um, uh, it was your idea, and I was very happy to work um, particularly with my neighbor, Sam Farr, uh, who's on the Agriculture Appropriations Committee, to uh, circulate a letter to our colleagues. We have 70, 27 of them, or 29, we have both senators. It's a bipartisan letter. We could use some more of the other side of the aisle getting on the letter. This is a state economic issue. It affects really every community, whether or not uh, flowers are grown in, in that community. But I'm happy to do uh, whatever the next steps should be.